These are unique projects proposed at Ease Kampara's CBD traffic jam. Kampara's public transport system is mainly comprised of taxis and border borders as primary means of transport within the city and its metropolitan areas, which makes it hard to avoid traffic jam. The main cause of traffic congestion in Kampara is poor urban planning, especially on roads. However, this is being solved by many proposed expressways, including these unique proposed projects. Light Rail Transit System Light Rail Transit System is planned to serve the population of Kampara, Wakiso, Mbij, and Mukon. Train sets will be 40 trains for the first phase, operating from 5 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. with a capacity of 720,000 expected passengers per day for all routes. The LRT will be of electric traction for better operational efficiency, lower operating and maintenance cost, and obviously with no carbon emissions. There will be three travel classes, that is first class, upper class, and economy class to attract both middle and high income passengers. The transport fare will not exceed 500 Uganda shillings for short rides. Each train will have a capacity to carry 350 passengers, that is 65 seated and 285 standing. The light rail mass transit system will transport 15,000 passengers per hour per direction. The responsible construction company was China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation for the construction of Phase 1 at an estimated cost of 700 million US dollars by then. Bus Rapid Transport System. This is part of the National Transport Master Plan and it was intended to run from 2009 to 2023. In 2010, the World Bank funded a feasibility study which suggested nine corridors totaling to 88 kilometers on which the BRT would operate. The corridors would start from Kampala stretching to Boise. Chireka, Zana, Kawembe, Natet, Nabweru, Chira, Otiberu, and Arong Gabarodi. The study, however, identified three routes for a pilot, and these are Kampara to Bugais, Kampara to Chireka, and Kampara to Zana. In 2014, the Ministry of Works concluded designs for the implementation of the BRT on the pilot corridors with funding from the World Bank. The plans included 3.5 to 5 meter wide bus lanes in the middle of the road, traffic lights at all key intersections, bus stations, and bike parking spots. The BRT was estimated at 1.181 billion US dollars over a period of 15 years, and allocations were comprising of the following road improvements at a cost of 625 million US dollars, traffic management and safety improvements at the cost of 125 million US dollars. New four busways and equipment at the cost of 431 million US dollars. The project was supposed to commence in 2018, but it did not start because there wasn't enough money.
Kampara Cable Car Project. This project was proposed by the KCC technical team as a measure to decongest Kampara City. The plan comprised of the construction of flyovers at Kitobum House, Nkwano, and Crook Tower Junction within a period of five years at a cost of 150 million US dollars. However, city councillors back then did not support the plan, suggesting to the technical team they embark on more realistic modes of transport, like trams and reviving train transport system, which project among these is suitable for Kampara capital city in terms of cost effective and sustainability. Thanks for watching to this point.